Hi everyone, welcome to JavaScript coding interview series and in today's video you have to find the output of below code and you have to provide a valid reason why you have selected that particular option as the answer. You have an array of items 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and on that particular array we are applying the uh, calling the method copy within and the arguments passed within the copy within methods are 3, 1 and minus 1. And finally, you have to print uh, console that particular output whatever you are getting uh, after calling the copy within method. And there are four options. The first option is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. The second option is 1, 2, 3, 3 and 4. And the third option is 1, 2, 3, 2, 3. And the fourth option is 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. So please try from your end and see how uh, which is the output you are going to select and provide a valid reason why you have come up with that particular uh, option. So let's try from our end and see which is the right answer for this particular question. So I have this particular script available in the test.js file and for now I am just uh, commenting the console, okay, console.log and this particular script I am calling in the index.html as you can see here and I am currently running this particular code and see uh, everything is working fine or not. Okay, so it is running and just I am opening the console and yes, now we are ready. Okay, so there is nothing in the console. Okay, so uh, what we are trying to do, uh, we have an array 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and we are actually calling the copy within method. So what does this uh, copy within method do? The copy within method shallow copies part of an array to another location within the same array okay and returns it without modifying its length okay so what it does is uh, we will be specifying the starting and ending point okay so as you can see here the syntax of copy within uh, method is there is a target point okay so which will be the start uh, index and we will be specifying the starting and ending index okay so that many part of that uh, uh, array will be copied and it will be uh, placed in the target okay so what is target target is a zero based index at which to copy the sequence so whatever uh, uh, data is available between uh, start and end so all those would be uh, copied to the target mentioned over there and starting and ending point uh, end, uh, ending arguments are optional so if you specify start that means that zero based index at uh, which to start copying elements from and if you omit the start the copy within all uh, copy from the index 0 ok so the default value uh, the starting uh, default value is 0 so in any case if it is omitted so the default it will be defaulted to uh, 0 and the uh, end argument is also optional and it is also a 0 based index at which to copy uh, to end uh, copying elements from so that specifies the end point of copying and copy within copies up to but not including end. So it excludes end but uh, the starting point will be included ok. And if the uh, start and uh, negative or start end or target if uh, it is mentioned as negative that means that end will be counted from the end. And if end is omitted copy within will copy until the last index which is uh, the array dot length. So as we mentioned that array dot length will be will not be modified because of the use of copy within method ok and the return value is the modified array. And in our case uh, so there are uh, two other scenarios ok if the target is at or a greater than array dot length nothing will be copied ok so that is very important uh, so if I specify uh, 5 in this case actually uh, 5 is not within this particular uh, array length ok it is outside that because 0 1 2 3 and 4 so 4 is the uh, uh, length right of okay, the 1 minute so it is greater than if the target is, uh, target is at or greater than uh, array dot length ok so 5 uh, uh, 5 is fine so it is greater than uh, it is uh, equal to array dot length ok so copy within 5 1 and minus 1 so what it mentions is nothing will be copied so now it is up and running so let me see so the original array has to be uh, available over here so you can see the original array it is the same 
so whenever you provide a value or uh, the target value uh, the target value needs to be uh, less than array dot length then only uh, something will be copied otherwise nothing will be copied and there is another scenario if the target is pos uh, positioned after the start okay the copied sequence will be trimmed to fit array dot length so we have the same uh, this particular scenario in our uh, question right the target what is the target so the target is uh, five uh, okay so it is target is three okay so target is three means uh, zero one two and three so, okay so this is the target okay the fourth is the target and what is the start point start point is the first index this is the first index and what is the uh, end index that is minus one so ideally the start index means 2 3 and 4 should be copied right so 2 3 4 if it is copied on the third index that is 4 so the array dot length will be 6 right so in that uh, okay let me show you so i have this particular array okay so 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 okay so this is the target okay this is the target 4 will be the target in that for what you are trying to do the first index is 2 ok so that will be included and what it is mentioning minus 1 so this is minus 1 so ideally 2 3 and 4 should be there ok so ok 2 3 and 4 ok so uh, but the array length so in this case array length will be 6 right but ideally our uh, array length should be 4 will not be there it will be 2 3 and 4 ok. So, uh, the our array length is 5. So, this 4 will be uh, emitted or trimmed ok. Trimmed to array dot length or fitted to array dot length. So, this is what uh, will be happening uh, when we actually try to do copy within ok. So, this particular uh, case is actually called over here. So, if I just do uncomment, so you can see that the output is the same. So, you can see here right 1, 2, 3 and 2 and 3. So, it will be actually corresponding to the option C. So, this is the answer for this particular question. Uh, so, that is what uh, uh, it is mentioned right. Uh, so, if the target is positioned after start, the copied sequence will be trimmed to fit uh, array dot length and uh, this is another important point if the target is uh, at or greater than array dot length nothing will be copied. So, I hope you got an idea about uh, copy within it is a very important uh, very nice feature because it is very efficient ok. If you want to copy a part of uh, an array to another location within the same array then you can uh, try using this copy within and there are different other uh, use cases uh, of uh, this particular uh, copy within uh, method. So, you can explore more on that. So, that is it for today's video thanks a lot for watching.